Hail Varsity's No Huddle brought to you by Kidwell, where Nebraska businesses go for the best business phone systems, customized and done right. From Hail Varsity Magazine in downtown Lincoln, it's time for the No Huddle. Dang it! Why is one second got to have such beef with Nebraska? More questions now in focus. One, we'll say it again. Who's the man at IBAC? Three took snaps in the first quarter alone, but none got in rhythm. Freshman Mikhail Wilbon showed a little patience behind blockers in the screen game. Nubian Cross had moments too, but that job's still up for grabs. Two, what's happening at kicker? Sophomore Drew Brown was money in fall camp, but has more in common with these guys lately. Three, Nebraska's DNs combined for that many sacks in week one, but is it wrong to expect more? The ends let about twice that many sacks get away from them. And with Captain Jack Gangwish out, freedom, Mac and Moladoon will get the nod opposite McMullen. Four, how about Tommy Armstrong? No question he's more accurate after throwing nearly 60% in week one. If anything, actually, you'd like to see him tuck and run it a bit more when it's there, but his overall command of the offense looks stellar after one week. So now Nebraska takes on Alabama. Check that, USA, which stands for University of South Alabama. Here are the Jaguars in a nutshell. They're new, just started playing the sport in 2009 at the FBS level since 2012, and have been bowl eligible two of their last three years playing FBS football. They're undefeated, knocking off Gardner Webb in week one. Pretty sure that's a law firm or a book publishing company, but apparently they have a football team. They go fast. Another no-huddle, up-tempo team for the black shirts to deal with. The Jags snap the ball every 22 seconds in week one. The business phone system experts at Kidwell and Omaha Lincoln and Kearney bring us numbers you need to know. South Alabama has nine players, including five starters like quarterback Cody Clements that transferred from UAB after the Blazers shut down their program. Nebraska has thrown the ball 40 plus times in a game six times since 2008, including 41 attempts last week. Huskers just two and four in those games, with one of those wins being the other famous Hail Mary from 2013. <laughs> Run the ball. One, that's how many wins the Huskers have in their last five games. Took overtime against Iowa, too. NU hasn't won a game in regulation since November 1st last year against Purdue. Hey, how'd you like to hang out with Charlie McBride, Ralph Brown, Brendan Stye, and Eric Crouch in Cabo? It's the Hale Varsity Husker vacation next April. Four nights at the all-inclusive Ryu Palace Resort for $899 a person. Check out huskervacation.com for details. A shout out to the local folks at Kidwell for making this video possible. I'm Mark Cranack, and that's Hale Varsity's No Huddle. We'll talk to you next week.